let's head over to this uh, missing person call that just came out. You show myself in 395-51 of that signal eight. 22-year-old black male with special needs. He's uh, four foot two, last seen wearing a gray shirt and a red basketball shorts. He can't function on his own. He's got the mind of a 13-year-old. If we go westbound Osborne, that'll put us four blocks north of where he left from. Any missing person is important, but when it's somebody that's mentally challenged or has any kind of disabilities, we take that very serious, because that person doesn't have the ability to take care of themselves. And the time lapse is like 40 minutes now. It's late at night, it's dark out, it's not the best area of town. We just started circulating the neighborhood within a few blocks from home. Hey, circle through this library real quick. He might have been here, it's nice and lit up. Might feel safe here. Tyler. Tyler. Hey, is somebody walking over there? Is there? Look, in the white shirt along the fence yeah, in the back is, side. There is, there is. It looks like a gray shirt and red shorts. Yep, yeah, it's a little guy. Yeah, it's a little person. Oh my god, this is gonna be him. Hang on, for hang on, for Where'd he go? It's at 29 at 21st Ave. There he is. Found him. That's him. Hey, Tyler, how you doing, buddy? You're not in trouble, man. You high five. Your family's worried about you, buddy. No, they don't. They love you very much. That's why they wanted, they called us to help find you, because they're worried about you. Who do you live with? I think she's on her way to come get you, okay? I know, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. My sister gets mad at me sometimes. You know, she's got to talk about it with them. You'll work it out, you know? Or else it's not going to go away, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs a break now and then. Nah, man. We're not going to arrest you. You're not in trouble. It, it kind of broke my heart for a second, because he, he said it with, you know, with such a sad face. Am I in trouble? And I was like, no, man, you're, you're not in trouble at all. Hey, how you doing? I'm Officer Rose. Hello. He said he was just walking off some steam because his sister got yeah, mad at him yeah, and he wanted and to take a break. He's scared me, man. He's all right, ma'am. He's good. You can't do that. He just needed a break, he said. You can't do that, OK? Please don't never do that again. I can't even imagine being in his family's shoes, missing my sibling or my son, for instance. Hey, you, you, you're going you're gonna to promise me you're not going to do it again? Can you pinky, pinky promise? in the middle of the night, not knowing you know, where they're at and not knowing if they're scared or if they're in harm's way or what's going on. Sure. See you later, Thank buddy. You, Be safe, OK? You're welcome. Thank Have you. a good night, Thank all right? You. Take care, young man. Thank you. Yep. Huge sense of relief that we, that we found this guy and uh, you know, he was unscathed. It was a really good moment. I can feel it. We're on fire, dude. NBA 2K is on fire. Just, just go turn, go drive through the parking lot of the library. I love it, bro. When you say something like that and you're so confident, bro, I'm, I, I, I swear to god, I dial in it. <laughs> We see so much negativity. We see so many people breaking the law all the time that when we do see somebody that's truly innocent, that's a good person, that's kind-hearted. Are we G to G? Yeah. You're attracted to that. We want to build a relationship with that person. Hello. Hey, Jasmine. Hey. Hello. What's up, Tyler? How you doing, buddy? What's you up, doing man? good? Good to see you, man. How's everything been since we last saw you? Yeah, everything's going good? It's more of a sense of accomplishment to help somebody in that situation than it is to arrest a bad guy that's breaking the law. Are you going to be going to school? I play football. I'm trying to get him in at Publix. He volunteered at the Publix in West Palm. Okay, I shop at this Publix over here, man. I'd love to be able to see you in there. You know, that'd be awesome. We see so much of the ugly side of humanity that when we actually get to help somebody who needs our help, it feels good. And for that, we're actually grateful for those moments. Take care, brother. Hey, nice meeting you, kids. Take care of all these women. Tyler, take okay? care, buddy. All right. He has to be the man of the house. Take care of them. Thank you, guys. See you later. Have a good night. Bye. It's a good little family there. We got to check on them. Yeah, Make sure they're good. Keep in touch. You got to balance the good with the bad every night. It makes you remember what it means to wear this badge. Are they already in the area? Good. GSW to the stomach and possibly the face. Stomach wounds are bad. Thank you, Bob. The gunshot wound and then end up dying from septic. Abdominal wounds are just really bad. 
Got that code four. 3248, you can show us in the area. We are blocked. That we'll just take the stretcher and roll. When we get to a scene of a, a bad trauma, we try to keep our scene time to 10 minutes because ultimately what that patient needs is a surgeon. Baby, how old is it? My baby, 22. 22. Relief came over me knowing that it's not a child, but we do have a lot of kids around here. How you feeling, brother? Got yeah, I got him. I got him. What's, What's your name, name man? Keyshawn. Keyshawn, you having any trouble breathing, man? All right. He's just been shot, not just once, but twice. And he is calm, cool, and collected. That's concerning because it could be that he's losing a lot of blood and he has an altered mental status. Keyshawn, you're 22, man? But you're going to be all right, man. You're going to make it to 23. 23 was my favorite age. So we got to get you there to experience it, all right? All right, look, Keyshawn, look. I know you're a little cold, brother. We got the doc with us. You're going to be all right, all right? Yeah. But I don't Say, see I... any trauma to his tongue. Uh-uh. I can see a hole on the Looks like the bullet might be down here, so. Yeah. Any problems with your breathing, brother? All right, good. Blood pressure's good. One test of solid. I know a lot is going on, man, but you're going to be all right, all right? Good. I don't see any exit wounds. So that means both bullets are still inside the body somewhere. So even though the patient's stable right now, that can take a turn for the worst quickly. Medical Center, New Orleans EMS, trauma activation. All right, we out. I'll give you two minutes. Let's go. Hey, there ain't nobody else, huh? No, that's it. There you go, baby. They're going to take good care of you, my love, OK? All right, Keyshawn, let's go, man. We're going to get you to the trauma center. You're going to be all right, dude. You're going to be all right. I know it's scared. 6220, I'm clear from out here. 3248 shows so code through trauma center. Cool thing is, he right here by the trauma center. Them five minutes makes a big difference. Get you some pain. You know who did this to you, man? No. You were sitting outside and they just... Are they Everybody else was okay, man. The patient's not complaining of anything. The only thing that he asks is, are the kids in the house okay? And that just says a lot about this guy's character. He could have very well saved his sibling's life. They're gonna be okay, though, okay? We got you. a lot of people, that's all. I hate that the dude got shot, but originally came out as a kid. Yeah, yeah. so that'd have been rough, man. Whew. But like you said, somebody that baby shit. though. Hey, what's, what's going on? on? He was terrified, man. He had tears yeah. coming down his cheeks. Oh, really? Man. I was like, dude, you, dude, you know, I think you're gonna be all right. You're talking to us. Your vitals are stable. You know. shot in the stomach, dude. That's a bad yeah. wound. Yeah, there's right so there. much in there that can bleed. They have problems, like for the rest of their lives after their belly's been shot. I think it's gonna be all right. Me personally. So. Well, he had the best care, right? Yeah, and I told him he's got to gotta make it 23. Uh, hey, look, the night's just starting, dude, so let's get it in. Let's do it. All right, All right we guys. out, man. All right, Thank guys. you. I'll talk to you later. Nothing. Rob and I have been searching for a suspect in a car that was reported stolen by his parents. Whose car, sir? You know why he's there, right? He's probably buying crack. How long you been smoking crack, man? How old are you? 50? See, you'll cut your life real short if you keep smoking that stuff. Honestly, the best thing for you is jail so you can clean up again. I don't want you to end up dead. Is mom going to press charges on I him? I don't know. I'm going to call right now. I think if I can convince his mother to press charges, then it will help him get clean again. Hey, we have your Honda CRV over here. You know that your son has a crack problem, right? We have him in handcuffs in the back of the car. I think the best thing for him is you guys to follow through with this. He needs to go to a drug place. All right, man, we'll see you in a few minutes, OK? I've done all I can. All right. What happens next is in his mother's hands. Hey, hey mom. You want to say anything to him? Yeah, come on over. You know you be going on that, but I told you to be a nothing. What? You know what? I'm so thankful. You could have got hurt. You really could have got hurt. And I'm glad they got you. I'm going to press charges. So they can give you some help. With you pressing charges, if I'm going to talk to the judge, because I know him, 
and I'm gonna recommend that he get to a drug facility. Okay. Honestly, I love you, but I'm doing this to help you, okay? This is probably the toughest decision his mother's ever had to make, but ultimately, it's an act of love. Okay, great. Of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. With this job, we deal with crack cocaine and its effects almost every day. This guy definitely has a long road of recovery in front of him, as long as he's open and willing to travel down that road. I'm glad she went through with it, all of that. I know. Actually, I think the world of them now, because that's probably the hardest thing you got to do. What if one of my kids get a drug problem? I'd have to do the same thing. Or you have to press charges in order for him to get, get help. help. That's sad. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.